fraction review, you can separate the two numerators, put them over the same denominator. These are the exact same thing, just something you can do. it. Let's first off do finishing the numerator. 11 over 2 equal 5 and a half. Now to show you that it's the exact same thing, I'm going to keep them separate and do the division first. We get 3 and 2 and a half, and when you add them up, it also equals 5 and a half. Now we're going to talk about multiplication. So if you have something like this, there's an equivalent for it, and it looks like this, right? All I did was multiply the denominator by 1, and that doesn't really change anything. But what this allows us to do is it allows us to break the fractions apart. Now we can have two separate fractions because this 1 gives a denominator for the 5. I'm going to show you how it works. Here's our first. Do the multiplication in the numerator. We get 30 over 2. Here's our second option. Multiplying the denominator by 1 doesn't really change anything. I do the division here much like I did the division here and we get to 15. Just be aware that this is something you can do to play with fractions. 